I Like You by Izumi Games. Type in your name. Jean. I looked at the piece of paper I found in my locker earlier. I am currently meeting the anonymous sender who is standing right in front of me. I like you. With her hands clasped and closed eyes, it was obvious she took up the courage to just say those words. Actually, the day I thought that I would only remain in my mind became reality. I, I like you too, Yuri. <laughs> I like you. Three words, one thought. A simple confession for what seemed to be a start to a blissful life turned out to be my uttermost crisis. So, this is her house, huh? I noticed that the last neighbor I passed is about a kilometer away. Does this whole area belong to Yuri's family then? There weren't any borders or gates aside from where I'm standing. It's just vacant. Her house is average size, but the vacant lot surrounding it is immense. Well, this is her house, but what were her parents thinking? The door opened not long ago. Jean! This is Yuri Vandal, my girlfriend. It's been a week since that incident. I had my eyes on her for a long time now and I still couldn't believe she'd confessed to me. It's the dream of every guy. She's pretty, smart, kind, and sociable. Compared to me who's a loner and barely talks to anyone. Today, I'm at her house for a group study. Thanks for having me. I brought some food. You didn't need to do that, but thanks. Come on in. You have a very organized house. Thanks. I did general cleaning since you were coming. I apologize for the intrusion. Uh, where are your parents? Have I not told you that my parents are abroad? No, you didn't. Didn't you say your parents agreed on having me come over? Yes, uh, I think they did. Anyway, uh, I can accommodate visitors. And they're okay with a guy? With just us alone? I'm old enough to decide on what to do. Besides, don't you want to go on a study date with me? Th th that's... What was she thinking? You don't mean... Yuri, are you naive or just... Are you thinking of something else? <laughs> you look so cute and flustered. F f please don't tease me. You should remember that I'm, I'm still a guy. I wouldn't mind if it's you. Yuri. Oh, lunch's ready. We went to the kitchen to have our lunch before we begin our study session. How is it? Mm, it's, uh, it's good. <laughs> Glad you liked it. She played with her spoon while chewing her food. It's a habit of hers, I've always noticed. Oh, I forgot to buy snacks and refreshments for later. Better not be hungry when studying. But we just had lunch, and I brought some food too, remember? It wouldn't last. What? I couldn't hear it since she was whispering. It's for later. I'm a big eater, you know? <laughs> I see. We finished eating and proceeded to clean up. See you in a bit. Just leave the plates on the sink. Why don't we go together? It's okay, I'll be quick. And she's gone. 
I can't have her wash the dishes when she has already prepared the food. They even have a bar section here? Her family must love alcohol. I wonder if Yuri drinks. Hmm. What's this? Strange. This wine bottle doesn't have a label on it. Picking up the bottle made me realize its content. It's not a liquid. Is this powder inside? Why would anyone put powder in a wine bottle? I should ask her later. Their living room is modern in style. Their TV looks new too. Yuri is undoubtedly rich. I wandered through the living room until I saw a DVD book. So, Yuri still watches DVDs, huh? I scanned through the books and found white CDs with only labels on them. His first win. His appearance on school theater activity. Him tying his shoes. Him spacing out. It all refers to a man. Reminds me of how my mom documents my photos. She would always put descriptions in the back of those hard copied photographs. Are these about her brother? Then these must be her parents then. Yuri's late brother? He's a year younger than Yuri. He also used to attend the same university. He got into an accident one day. I remember Yuri not attending class for a few days because of it. Aside from that, uh, I don't know anything about her parents or her personal life. She may have drawn my attention for a long time now, but I don't know anything about her. I reminisce the first time I met her. I met her through my senior, Susie Rose, as she introduced her to me during one lunchtime. My senior who mysteriously disappeared one ordinary school day. She's been missing ever since then, with no news of her until now. She and Yuri are the people who I talk to. We're pretty close, that's why news of her disappearance had me devastated. Yuri, I'd like to know more about you. Thankfully, I was given the chance. A white piece of metal from the corner of my eye captured my attention. Well, what is that? A CCTV camera? In the living room? It's not like she's living with someone that she needs to take care of. Then, it must be for her parents, maybe? So that's why she's lenient about receiving guests to, your, to her home. Can they see me from here? I waved my hand, just in case. A phone? Oh, she must have left it. It won't stop ringing. I wonder where it's coming from. I went to the hallways just ahead of the bar station and reached the door to a room. It's ringing non-stop. Is it an emergency call? But this could be her room. The door is slightly open. A little peek wouldn't hurt, would it? Oh, there's her phone. It looks like an old model of a flip phone. I turned my attention to the room's walls. <gasps> the room sent chills all over my body. What? What are these? The room is filled with hard-copied photos posted on the walls, with me on them. I recognize some from my social media, but the others are stolen pictures of me. Also, at the table beside me. It all adds up. These are the things I used to have... These are things that I used to have and got lost for some reason. My sweatshirt, my ball pen, my ball pen. 
The books I used to borrow from the school library? And what are those? Are those used tissues in a container? But what bothers me is this strange, odd, pink, slimy thing placed in a glass with a printed description taped on the lower bottom saying, Jeans chewed bubblegum? It's insane. Why would Yuri have all of this? Don't tell me those tissues are mine too. The phone. Not long, I heard someone opening the door from the entrance. I hurried they left the room and went to a nearby bar station. I managed to compose myself before she came in. I'm back, Jean. What were you doing? She can't find out I peeked in her room. Waiting for you. Uh, uh, I, I had some trouble understanding math. Uh, I thought I'd wait for you first. Oh, you didn't happen to peek in my room while I was away, didn't you? No. <laughs> just kidding. That's what I like about you. Let me just put these in the kitchen first and we'll start studying. Th th that's a lot of groceries. Yeah, sorry for making you wait. I need to get out of here. Is it hot outside? Nope, it's cloudy. With no time to waste, I hurriedly, I hurriedly went to the main door. I was about to open it. Until I, fe I felt my ha a hand on my shoulder. Where are you going? How did she catch me so fast? Wasn't she busy with the groceries? J j just to feel out the weather. Shoot, I stuttered. I'm sorry. To think that you're leaving, I already said it's cloudy. I just need to feel the fresh air. Why are you stopping me? Oh, no, I'm not. Say, why don't we try a, the ginger ale I just made? She went to get a bottle from her bar, from the bar station. What about your groceries? That can wait. Then... She poured the so-called ale into a, wine, into a wine glass before offering up to me. I stared at the liquid presented to me. What's wrong? I hate ginger. What? But you never leave a single ginger on your lunch when you... I throw them every time. Wait, hold on. I just remembered something. How did she even notice that? I got my phone out and I was about to contact for help when Yuri quickly went to peek from my back. And are you going to check for the ginger ale's ingredients? She, she wouldn't give me some privacy. No, I just remembered something important. She got her eyes on me. Can I use your restroom for a bit? Sure, but only if you drink this first. Oh, why are you being so pushy? I'm sorry. I just want you to try the homemade ale that I made. Since I made it, especially for you. I have a bad feeling about that ale. An obsessed person can be dangerous. Who knows if she's mixed the drink with some powder I saw earlier. It must have been drugged. I'm allergic to ginger. You're lying. She put the bottle rim in her mouth and drank her ale. Then she immediately came close to me. Without warning, she's already kissing me while giving me a dose of that ale or whatever it is using her mouth. She let go and I immediately tried to get the liquid out of my mouth as much as I could. I'm not that patient, you know. <laughs> Yuri, what were you thinking? <laughs> Stealing your first kiss? Why? 
I began to feel dizzy. Yuri! I knew something was wrong with that drink. I've waited for this day for so long. I'm not going to end it. My vision became, became blurry, and I could hear Yuri's voice echoing. Sleep tight, my love. That liquor is so strong that I that it quickly enveloped me in a shroud of darkness. Where am I? You're awake. Oh, sorry for staring at you while you were sleeping. You look so cute, I can't help it. Yuri? What is all this? I'm currently sitting in a chair with my hands and feet tied. I'm sorry. It must be uncomfortable, but I had to do it. You'd leave me if I let you go. What do you want? I thought you liked me. I do. I really do. This is why I locked you up here in the garage. What? It's for your sake. Don't you want to be with someone who truly understands you? Are you insane? We're already a couple! Still, I can't be by your side at all times. There's a limit to what one person can do. Also, you came into my room, didn't you? You're a bad actor. She caught on? You're insane. I knew you'd be weirded out. There's no way I can let you go after that. What if you start to avoid me? But now, we'll always be together. And don't worry about school. I dropped out. What? <laughs> For the living expenses, leave it to me. My inheritance money could let us live until the next two generations. Inheritance? The heck I care about that? Language, my love. Your parents will know about this. I lied about my parents being abroad. Sure, they're not the best parents, but they left a hefty sum when they died. Died? If only brother is alive. But... Let's forget all the sad things now, since you're here. You can't keep me locked in here, Yuri. I know I can. Help! Someone! No one will hear you. Didn't you notice how far the neighbors are from this house? No use in screaming, my love. Having a huge lot sure has its perks. I'm being locked in here! Please! Someone! <sighs> Don't sh you shout all you want then. I made the garage soundproof just in case. Don't tell me I warned you when your voice gets hoarse. No way. You slept pretty long. Look, it's already evening. Ah, <laughs> uh, just thinking about you spending the night here. I'm excited. I'll go prepare our dinner. I got too busy looking at you sleeping. We'll talk later. I'll come back, Jean. I waited for a few moments to make sure she's away. A chance. I must untie this first. I once saw a video on YouTube on how to untie these things. Good thing I wasn't tied to the chair itself. And then I do this, just a little more. There. I never thought it would work. Now my feet. There. Done. Now I need to escape. As expected, the door Yuri used is locked. She said this room is soundproof, so I tried to break the windows using the chair, but it was no use. No response from Yuri either. This room really must be soundproof then. There's another door, but I don't know where it'll lead me. I don't have that much of a choice anyway. It's locked. 
but kicking this door open is still a better option than the other door. She'll be here any minute now. I should force open this before she catches me. I hurriedly locked the door from the other side. Good thing there was a secondary lock. Another room? Jean! Open this up! It's time for dinner! I made your favorite! I must get out of this place. Playing hide and seek, huh? Okay then. I should hurry before Yuri comes here. Look around. I might be able to find a weapon around here. Too bad there's only an empty cabinet and a side table here. Anything will do. Inside the drawer of the side table, I found a key. I tried to use it on both doors but it wouldn't fit. This might be helpful later on. I'm in the hallway now. I can't go to the main door since it's highly likely she'll be there. Surely this house is all locked up too. I need to call for help, but Yuri took my phone for me for a while while I was knocked out. Surely this house is all locked up too. I need to call out for help, but Yuri took my phone for me while I was knocked out. I don't know where the other door leads to, but if I don't have anywhere to hide, then I'm toast. That's why I'm leaving that out of, I'm leaving that out of the option. Where should I go? Go to Yuri's room. This room still irks me. Not because of my photos everywhere, but because someone has been watching me all this time without my knowledge. She'd even kept the tissues I had. Even the ones with snot. I hurriedly looked for the phone I saw earlier. It's not here anymore. I should look thoroughly at this room. I went to the drawers first. Surprisingly, the phone was there, but another thing catches my attention. There's an identification card beside it. It belonging to someone else and not Yuri's. I grimaced as I held the plastic card tightly in my hand. She was wearing this on that day. My senior, Susie Rose. What is... This do what is this doing here? Why does Yuri have this? Yuri, just who are you really? She's coming, and she's fast too. There's a restroom would be the restroom would be the first place she'd look into, and that's a dead end. So I went under the bed instead. She's here. Well, hiding. I immediately tried to text 911 for help, but upon realizing the phone makes a sound when I press on the keypad, I halted. This is why this this is why phones have to evolve. I can feel Yuri's I can feel Yuri's going towards the restroom. She needs to get out of this room or else I wouldn't be able to type in this thing. I can sense she stopped near me. Did she notice me? My heart is throbbing so fast like it's about to get out. Get out, Yuri. Please. I peeked out on the bedsheet to see that the door was indeed closed. That was intense. Now I can go back to calling for help. I'll just... There you are. <laughs> Playtime's over. Time for dinner. She left me no choice as she threatened me with a knife she was holding. I am now tied up again, but this time with a little more grip. It'll be harder to untie these. Resisting is futile, Jean. I see that you found something interesting in my room. She said holding up the ID. Why is Susie's ID with you? I saw her wearing that that day. Considering how you can lock me in here, you're not... You're not related to her disappearance, aren't you? Jean. 
Let me tell you something. I know you better than anyone. I have known you since middle school. I even went to the same university and took the same course, not because of my friend, but because of you. Don't you remember that day when you lent me your umbrella? What? My parents. They'd always hurt us, and I had enough, so I thought I'd teach them a lesson. But I went too far. Killing them gave us peace, but they're still my parents. It's weird, but I still felt sad. You, 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 you killed your parents? Yeah, and I regret it. I found myself soaked wet that rainy day. Yuri. You were the kindness I needed. The light of my darkness. I was content seeing you from afar, collecting the remnants of your existence, while seeing your safety was my only happiness. But my friend, Susie, started talking to you after she noticed my feelings. She's a backstabber! She even started having feelings for you! <gasps> the sight of you laughing, talking to me with other girls, especially her, it's unbearable. What did you do to her? I only gave her what she deserved. Of course, I killed her. Yuri, you're insane. Going to the same university just to stalk me? Even harming my friend? Don't you want to be with me more than her? It had nothing to do with that, Yuri. You're aware of what you're doing, right? This is for your sake as well. No, it's not. Say I let you go. And then what? You want to go back to your miserable life where you always get bullied and continue to get called a loser? I thought I could get rid of all the people who hurt you, but they just keep coming on to you. I hate it. I want you to be happy. The world is cruel out there, and I can't protect you all the time. I can give you all the attention and love you deserve there, here, Jean. Yuri took her pocket watch out. Oh, it's 10 p.m. now. <sighs> the meat's going to be bad because of you. At least give me time to settle the groceries. Please behave this time, Jean, okay? I don't want to hurt you, but if I have, but if I have to just keep you safe, I wouldn't care about being the bad guy in your eyes, Jean. That's how I love you. Yuri got back on her feet and went to the door. Yuri is always looking out for me, but the fact that she can do them is in extremes worries me. Even though, even to the excel extent of killing my senior, I can't stay here. It may be hard untying these, but it's not impossible if done promptly. One wrong move and it'll cost me time. locking the door earlier but this was the same door we used to enter the garage again. Yuri is careless on this matter but thanks to that I was able to get out. I wonder what would have happened if I stayed here earlier. I locked the door again just to be safe. Yuri is probably in the kitchen leaving me with these two options. It's open. A CCTV room? Oh, 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 why in the world would Yuri put CCTV in her house? Is it so she can track me if I ever escape? It's just a small house with a few rooms, yet she's this paranoid? I look at the footage from the monitors. 
she's still unpacking the groceries. That's a lot though. I'd estimate it to be a week of food supplies. She plans on keeping me here for a long time? Since there's a computer here, I should get help online. There's no internet connection? Only a local network connection? She's cutting ourselves from the world. I don't have someone who'd worry for me. I have a neighbor and a landlady, but it might take some time for them to notice that I'm gone. Since I only got myself now, aside from escaping, I should also find the truth about behind Susie. Where is she buried? How did she kill her? Pieces of evidence prove Yuri's guilt. I don't know anything about her parents, but they'll eventually be investigated if I can uncover Susie's death. The identification card was taken back by Yuri. I wonder if I can take it back. If I present it to the police, it might even backfire. I need strong evidence. I tried to look for files in the computer that might be helpful, but this computer doesn't have that much data in it. She must just be using this for the CCTV. I wonder if this room is her brother's. Then, the other room should have been her parents. I looked at the CCTV once again. Now she's in the hallway, about to enter her room. This could be my chance. Wait. I waited for Yuri to come out again. Now she's bringing a pillow and a bed sheet. She was heading to the bar station. Until she used the door to head to the garage. Now she knows I'm gone. This is bad. She's heading to the door which I used. What should I do? Go out. I went outside the room and made sure to lock the door so she can't track me using the CCTV. I hurried down I hurried ran toward I hurriedly ran towards the living room where the main door is just beside it. It's closed. I used the key and I I used the key I kept and it doesn't fit. I couldn't hide it either in the kitchen or living room as those are visible spots. Speaking of the living room Why is a video of me tying my shoes playing on the TV? Those TVDs are all about me? She's obsessed. Never mind that, I need to find another exit. I walk through the hallways despite the danger of being caught. From the corner of my eye just beside the kitchen, I found another door with an automatic lock beside it. This could be an exit. It requires a password before being unlocked, however. I tried different things. Yuri's birthday, my birthday, nothing worked. I can hear Yuri coming out. I immediately went to the CCTV room and used the key to enter. It worked! I saw Yuri entering her room via the cameras. Her room is just next door. There's no point in hiding, Jean. You're locked in this house. I need to know the password for that door. I tried to look for apps that connect the door lock, but no go. The photo catches my attention, however. It was a picture of both Yuri and my senior, Susie. They looked so happy in this picture. I still can't believe it. I still can't believe Yuri would do something unimaginable to her friend. Not long, I noticed something ready at the bottom of that photo. The key! The key? I wonder what this means. I couldn't find any clues regarding her death. Yuri must have cleaned up all the evidence thoroughly aside from the ID which she probably hid somewhere. Not even the location where she's buried. Unless I talked to Yuri, I wouldn't know the truth. Before Yuri gets out of her room, I hurriedly went outside and went to the nearby bar station. The unlabeled wine bottle catches my attention again. 
if these are the drugs, should I hide them so she can't use them on me? There's even a manufacturing and expiration date written at the bottom. But wait. The manufacturing date? I know this date. This is my senior Susie's birth date. And the expiration date is the date when she disappeared. I took the bottle and hid one in, hid it. I took the bottle and hid in one of the cabinets at the bar station. Thankfully, I managed to fit in there since there weren't any bottles stored inside. At this point, I don't know what else to do. I can hear Yuri opening the door to the CCTV room. It's unlocked, Jean. My love? Please come out wherever you are. I thought you finally liked me! I thought you were finally mine! I even waited a month after Susie's death before confessing to you. Not long I can hear her coming near the bar station. You might hate me by now, but know that my feelings will never change. I love you so much. With every fiber of my being, I will always love you. I love you so much. Jean. With every fiber of my being, I will always love you. Jean. So please, love me too. Yuri, I don't have anyone else aside from you. My parents didn't love me. I had to teach them a lesson somehow. But before I knew it, they were already gone. I thought my brother and I would finally have peace we always wanted. I didn't know it would be only for a short moment until he was taken away from me too. My only best friend, Susie. If only she didn't have feelings for you, I would have... She's important to me, too. I don't even want to bury her. I want to keep her and be here with me forever. <gasps> That's why I had her incinerated along with the other evidence and took her ID before doing it to keep it as a memento. Then, the powder inside this wine bottle is... Please, don't abandon me. Jean... I'm a failure as a daughter, a sister, and even as a friend. So please don't abandon me, Jean. I'll do anything as long as you're with me. Forcing you to forcing you breaks my heart, and I'd only do it if I've no longer have a choice. So please love me too. Jean. What you feel isn't love, it's an obsession. If you truly love me, you'll let me go. You'll think of my happiness over yours. You're just being selfish. You want me to love you? Flash news, I don't love you and I never will. Your upbringing may not be that good, but it doesn't justify you killing other people. No. I held two bottles and hugged the unlabeled one closer to my chest. She deserves justice. I want people to love you. Then, if you want people to love you, then reflect on what you did and repent for your actions, Yuri. I threw the other bottle in Yuri's direction to distract her and went to the door locked, still holding the bottle of Susie's ashes. Put the manufacturing date. I hurriedly entered the date without mistake. It won't open? No more games, Jean. I'm sorry. And now we'll always be together. Forever. Dear Diary, I thought it was just my imagination, but I've been seeing Susie talking more and more with my love. I even caught her once blushing while talking to him. How dare she? 
right after she noticed I'm having a crush on him and she do this? I can't have her take away him I take away him from me. I can't have her take away him from me. Not him too. I'm sorry, Susie. I liked you as a friend, but this is the end. You deserve to be with my brother. I won't bury you like what I did to my parents. You are just much more special than them. You always loved drinking at our bar station. Should I put you there? Diary number six unlocked. 